Hey guys, my name is Abhine and today I have brought the second part of the long left tutorial how to make custom maps and characters for Bombscore. Well, in the last tutorial I think we did the plugin, the add-on for the POV format in Blender. And now once you have done that, you can see three options, Bombscore Mesh, Bombscore Collision Mesh and Bombscore Label Definitions here in the Import drop-down menu. So what are they? That's what we are going to understand. If you would have tried something, some experiments on your own, you would have understood that now you can just import hmm, some of the maps, some of the models by yourself and just have a look at them. Well, but that's not what we are going to do in this tutorial because in this tutorial I am going to focus on making you understand the difference between these three options that now appear after installing the BOB format. Okay, so the bomb squad mesh, bomb squad collision mesh, and bomb squad level definitions. Bomb squad level definitions is something we are going to do in the later parts. Let me show you an example. Here you can see no wall around these steps, but if you try to jump over it, you can't because there exists a wall. What you can't see, it exists. And so this is the difference between bomb squad mesh and bomb squad collision mesh. Bomb squad mesh is what you see. All these, all these blocks, wooden blocks on which the players are moving. This is all what you see. And it does not mean that they all exist. It's just the model that you see. But bomb squad collision mesh is something that you can't see, and it just exists there like the walls around it let me just do some changes and let's try to understand it okay so i'll be importing a normal map bomb squad pov okay big g map wait wait sorry we'll be importing big g map. so this is the mesh that i have that i have imported and i'm going to do some quick changes like this or maybe on the z axis this much so you can see that we have done some changes on the bomb squad mesh so I'll be exporting it as bomb squad mesh to the models and to big G dot POV now the next thing that we are going to edit is the collision mesh if I do big G collide you can see that it's a big model it's quite complete and this is what you feel and let's now add a wall but quite a bit quite a bit far and like this so we have a wall here in the collision part and we have a wall here in the <laughs> bomb squad mesh part and now let's see how it comes up just try to understand so i think i need to open that So if I just go in, we see a wall that we created, just the wall we created exactly and mm, I guess there is something like manual camera and you can see that there exists a wall, the change that we did and some textures have been quite messed up, that's not what we are going to do. We can see that there is a wall and we should not be able to pass through it but that's not correct because this change has been done in the BOB format and that means what we see does not exist so we are seeing a wall and it does not exist we can quickly pass through it it's just what we are seeing now the second thing the second change we did was with a collision mesh so there is nothing there is nothing we see so if I just try to go I can't just go I'm trying my best and I'm I just fell so this is the difference we if you do any change to bomb squad collision mesh that thing will just change the things you can touch but you won't see it before that you will have to edit both bomb squad mesh and bomb squad collision mesh so I hope you just got a basic idea so the bomb squad mesh was this what we see, what the textures apply to, and bomb squad collision mesh is 
this what we can't see but it really exists so that was it guys i hope you just got a basic idea of the difference between bob and cob that's really important because without that everything's just nothing and guys thanks a lot for watching